Today, I'm going to talk to you about the Image Genly campaign. The Image Genly campaign was started in 2008 by several organizations in order to raise awareness of the importance of limiting radiation dose in pediatric patients who are getting radiologic studies like CAT scans or x-rays. We know that there's no question that CT saves kids' lives. CAT scans are very important to make diagnoses of appendicitis, other abnormalities that we may find in children. But when we do a CT, we want to minimize the radiation dose as much as possible. And so when we image, the concept behind image gently is to make sure we're limiting that dose as much as possible. How do we image gently? Well, we want to make sure we child size our imaging parameters. We want to limit the number of scans that we do. So hopefully one scan is enough. And then we want to modulate or limit the dose depending on the area of the child that we are imaging. So here's an example of that. This is a pediatric patient who's lying on a CT table. This is towards the patient's head. This is towards the patient's feet. So we have their neck here. We have their lungs or chest here. And this is their abdomen. So this is the front of the patient, the back of the patient. And you can imagine when we're scanning the patient, this red line represents the dosage that the uh, pediatric patient is exposed to. And the lungs are air-filled, and so we don't need as much radiation. So um, areas which are denser here in the upper chest and neck, we have more radiation. Then the amount of radiation goes down. Then it comes back up a little bit as we get into the abdomen. So this is the idea of dose modulation. Now the CAT scan and the pediatric patient. So this is a 15-year-old female who came to AMI with a history of abdominal pain uh, times uh, about 12 hours. She came to us, and um, this is a routine study that we do, a CAT scan of the abdomen and pelvis. We inject a small amount of contrast intravenously, and the patient also drinks a small amount of contrast. And again, we're very conscious of limiting that radiation dose to the patient. So to orient you, this is the front of the patient or anterior. This is the back of the patient or posterior. Uh, this is the patient's left side. This is the patient's right side. These are the lungs, these dark structures here. Here's the heart. Here's the spine. These are ribs out here, these white structures. So now I'm gonna scan more inferiorly. As I come down more inferiorly, we see the patient's liver here. We see the patient's spleen. The structure here is the stomach. I come down more inferiorly. We see the right kidney, the left kidney. And then as we get further uh, down in the abdomen, we start to see bowel loops. So these brighter loops here are loops of small bowel. We have the patient during contrast and that makes the small bowel loops brighter. And these areas here, which have a mixture of, of darker and uh, uh, um, gray color, are uh, large bowel loops. And as we get more in fear, we see a structure here, which is the appendix. This is a structure which should be air-filled, should be smaller than we're seeing here. And we also see some inflammatory changes surrounding the appendix, some reactive lymph nodes. Here's where the appendix ends right here. So this is a patient that had acute appendicitis. In the past, maybe 20 uh, years ago or so, this patient may have had to go directly to the operating room, may or may not have had appendicitis and would have had to have surgery anyway. So by doing this CAT scan, we're able to diagnose appendicitis, um, tell the surgeon exactly what they need to know before the patient um, uh, goes for their surgery. So I hope you enjoyed this. Again, the concept is not to um, shy away from any necessary, necessary exam. If the patient needs a CAT scan, um, it's, it's indicated that we should do it, but we wanna make sure that we are imaging gently. We are going to a facility that um, knows how to limit radiation dose to the patient and follows the image gently guidelines. Till next time, take care.